So back in the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh, boss monsters for a deck consisted of tributing one specific monster for another more powerful version of it. So you would tribute the Via Dragon Daedalus for Ocean Dragon Lord Neo Daedalus, or Red Eyes Black Dragon for Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, or Jinzo for Jinzo Lord. The tributed version would have a more powerful effect, but it would still be difficult to summon, because it couldn't be normal summoned or set, only special summoned in this particular way. Now people soon realised that this was kind of inconsistent and they were dropped in favour of more easy to summon monsters like Chaos Monsters or the Monarchs, and then that in turn got replaced by the Extra Deck Toolbox or Synchros and Caesars. But now Konami seems to have gone full circle with the release of Legendary Fisherman 3. The thing you have to realise about this is you have to give it a powerful effect in order to make up for the lack of consistency that it inherently has due to its summoning conditions. So let's see if they manage to do that. So Legendary Fisherman 3 is a water warrior monster, level 7, that has 2500 attack and 2000 defense. It cannot know your normal summoned or set, and it must be special summoned from the hand by tributing one of the legendary fishermen you control, and it cannot be special summoned any other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can banish all monsters your opponent controls, but this card cannot attack during this turn. It cannot be destroyed by bottle or by card effects, it's unaffected by spell or trap or card effects. Once per turn, you can return all of your opponent's banished cards to the graveyard, and if you do, double the next battle or effect damage your opponent would take this turn. I, I think that sort of counters it. The inherently bad summoning conditions are sort of fixed here, if you think about it, because if you can banish all monsters your opponent controls, it's like a banishing Regeki, which is fantastic. And the fact that it's unaffected by nearly everything apart from things like Castell and Silent Honor Arc, it's just hard to get rid of. You might think, well, it can't attack this turn, that's a stupid restriction. If it could attack the turn it was special summoned after banishing everything, it would be basically no TK because if you got it out with anything 3000 attack you could return all the things, double the battle damage, attack for 2500 and inflict 5000 battle damage, attack 3000 battle damage, that's 8000, that's game. That is a necessary restriction and you know people will be like well if, is it so easy to get out Castell and the Arc there's no point running. I'm not saying that this is going to be competitive because even trying to get out is a bit hard because the legendary fisherman is a level 5 effect monster. Uh, so it's a tribute monster, it doesn't have a special summon ability, and by itself it's a bit naff, but it's going to be fun to try and build decks around it. I think it'll have a lot of fun decks around this because it's... A, look at the artwork. I mean, it's a guy riding a giant shark. And B, it's just going to be fun to try and get out, and what, if you can get out, it's pretty difficult to get rid of. It's going to be like the new BLs, basically, except even better. It's either a better Biel's or a slightly worse Romnigun. So how would you go about building a deck around this? So one thing you could do is use the Empowered Warriors. Um, a lot of their cards are OCG exclusive at the moment, but you can use things like Empowering Armory to search out an Empowered Warrior to tribute for the Legendary Fisherman. Uh, so it's easy to get monsters to get to the board to tribute someone Legendary Fisherman to get out Legendary Fisherman 3. On top of that, Dragodius, the Empower Warrior, can search out Legendary Fisherman, so it's better, and you can also Pendulum Summon the Legendary Fisherman to get it out for this. So there are a lot of ways you can work around it. Using the Empower Warriors could be good. Another way you can do it is to just dump the Legendary Fisherman in the graveyard with things like Gen X Undine, uh, and then special things back with Call the Haunted and stuff, and you can also use Graveyard Recursion of the Water Monsters with Aqua Mirror Cycle, which would be kind of pants, but uh, you can also use Warrior Returning Alive because they're both Warriors, so you could use that method. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see all the decks that are built around it. I imagine that it's going to be quite popular because of the nostalgia factor, the awesome art, the awesome effect, and the general like feeling you'll get from being able to summon it. So, definitely not game breaking, but a very interesting card and sort of a homage back to the start of the game. But yeah, that's all I've got to say for the moment, and if you like this video, please like, favourite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.